momentum, which they use the capital P for. And uh, we're going to use momentum to look at collisions. Collisions defined as, at least in our textbook, as one object running into or hitting another object. They interact violently and then either stick or move apart. Uh, what we're going to have here is these two little cars, car one, car two, and they're going to impact each other and actually stick. So this will be what's known as a stick problem. And a stick problem just means they will move off, or a stick together problem is they're going to move off with the same final velocity. Okay? Not so much with car accidents these days, but uh, years past when they had actual chrome bumpers, sometimes the bumpers would lock up and the cars would sort of be really stuck and not bounce. So let's look at that. The first car has an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. The second car has uh, no velocity, it's just sitting there. And we're going to look at this to find out what the final velocities are. So what we want to do is find V final of both cars. But since they stick, V1 final equals V2 final, which we're just going to call as V final. <clears throat> and this makes the stick problems a lot easier than uh, the bounce problems. Uh, so how do we look at this? Well, we're always going to use momentum. And conservation momentum says the momentum I have before equals the momentum after. That means I have to add up all the MVs before and add up the MVs finally or after. Now we're just looking at two objects here. If you have three, I guess you'd look at putting two together and having the third interact after those two hit, but we'll keep it simple with just two here. So I need to look at the mass velocity or momentum of the first car initially which is going to be a thousand and it is moving at 10 plus the second car which is 500 and that is just sitting still. Now that counts for both objects and how much momentum they have before. Afterwards we have the thousand moving at V final and we have the 500 moving at V final. Now we really could just write this side as 1000 plus 500 V final because they do stick together but that's sort of how we would look at it if they're individuals but we combine the two there the math on this side is going to give us so at 10,000 here this is going to give us 1500 if we take are able to take 1500 nope able to take 10,000 and divide it by 1500 we get 6.67 as V final meters per second. So that tells us the final velocity of the two vehicles right after they impact each other, ignoring friction and all other things. Now while we're here, since this is a stick problem, let's look at what else is happening. Let's look about finding out how much energy is lost in the collision. If there's energy lost, it's usually going to go into deformation, that's a bending. Uh, it could go into sound energy, it actually go into heat and cause a temperature rise due to thermal energy. The majority of it is going to go deformation, which is what we see pretty obviously in a collision. So, real quick, how do we check energy? Well, we'll find out how much energy we had before. Total energy initially, which is going to be all kinetic. We don't worry about these falling from above for potential energy or using springs. 1 half mv squared. Since it's really just the first car, it's going to be half a thousand times 10 squared. That comes out to be 150,000 joules. And the energy final will be both vehicles, still on a kinetic. So that's going to be half 1500 because it's the two vehicles times 6.67 squared times 6.67. Uh, that equals times 7,500. No, 750. Gives us 33,350. 33,350 joules. That tells us how much energy after. If we take the difference of those two, it's going to tell us how much energy is lost. A little over 16,000 joules of energy was lost in the collision. I'm out of time. Hope that helped. We will see you soon.